friends it's Amanda here and we have a bunch of new Colourpop stuff dropping this week. I think I'm gonna split this week's releases into two different videos so in this video I'm going to talk about the new matte bronzers and the new So Glassy lips because we have six new bronzers and six new lip glosses that I want to swatch for you. I'm going to do an application demo with a bronzer and then I'll talk about the new Mega Palette in a separate video. I'm not sure which one's going to go up first. I'll try to do them consecutively so that you get to see one on Wednesday and then I'll try to get the other one ready for Thursday morning. That way you can see everything before the launch. I'll try my best. I'll try my very best for you. If I'm a little bit late, my sincerest apologies. I got a lot. I got a lot going on. I know I keep saying that, but I'll try my best to get these out for you ahead of the launch. Everything that I just mentioned, so the bronzers and the So Glassy lip glosses that we're talking about in this video, and the big new mega palette, the Get and Fresh palette, are all launching on Thursday, May 26th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, so make sure you just do a little Google search if you're not sure of your time zones. My affiliate code, which is just my first name, Amanda, will work on all of these new products. As far as I know, you should be able to save 10% on all of this new stuff using the code Amanda. That is an affiliate code, just FYI. I earn a commission if you decide to use it, but codes should work on all this new stuff. All right, let's start with the bronzers. We have six new matte bronzers. These are going to be priced at 14 US dollars a piece. The outer packaging on these bronzers, as well as on the new So Glassy lip colors that you'll see a little later on, have this very beachy theme. I like this little shoreline, very minimalist type of vibe. It definitely makes sense with these products because they are a very summertime, very minimal makeup type of look, or at least they can be. And there is an ingredients list on the back. I just did a quick glance here. I'm not really well versed in what all of these chemical names are, so I can't tell you for sure if these are going to be vegan or not. I have a feeling they will be. I didn't see Carmine but I know that all of the So Glassy Lips have been marketed as being vegan, so I have a feeling that these bronzers will be a vegan product as well. Now I'm gonna show you a quick little close-up here so that you can just see what these look like in their pans. These are big, giant pans of product. These are the same shape and size compacts as we see the really large Super Shock cheeks and also the big Soul Body powders. So just to give you a sense, if you've seen those, these are the same type of component. So they do have a little mirror inside and they are a tough plastic. They are kind of difficult to open. I did struggle with these and I definitely messed up my nail polish prying these compacts open. But you know, that's not the biggest deal in the world. And after you use them for a while, they start to loosen up a little bit. Here are the swatches of all of the shades side by side. That way you can get a sense of not only the depth, but also the undertones. I really like that we get this Avila Beach shade that is a lot more neutral or I should say less warm than the others because this one is the one I'll use. It's the most flattering for me having a pretty fair complexion. And while six bronzers isn't a Fenty level type of release, it seems like there's a decent range here. I'll sort of defer to my deeper complected friends to give their two cents on that because I'm not a makeup artist. I only do makeup on myself. So it's hard for me to say whether or not these are actually decent undertones and decent depths, but at least they all look different swatched on my arm. So I'm hoping that that's going to translate across a lot of different skin tones. What I can definitely speak to is the formula. This went on really well. Sometimes matte bronzers can get a little bit patchy for me, especially because I really only wear a little bit of a skin tint. So I don't have a super primed, you know, foundationed, powdered, very, very pre-smoothed 
base going on and this gave me a great glide on application and I went for a lot a lot a lot of bronzer here because you know I'm showing a bronzer so this is probably more than I would typically wear but it actually looks really cute with just a little skin tint and a bunch of bronzer like this for a summery look so I don't mind it you know me I am definitely in the camp of putting on tons of cheek products so I did add a few more things on top here everything played well with the bronzer I wore this all day it stayed looking great it was definitely the last of my cheek products to really fade for the day so all in all I have to say this formula seems great not too powdery not too patchy and a nice wear time and also I think it looks pretty natural as well now let's talk about these new So Glassy shades. We first saw the So Glassy formula launch with their Extra Celestial collection that came out earlier this spring. I feel like it was early spring. I forget. I can't keep track. Pretty sure it was in March. I'll check. I'll link that video down in the description box if you want to hear more about like my initial thoughts on this formula. But we have six new So Glassy glosses. These are all a cream finish. The original So Glassy launch were all really metallic glossy colors, which made sense for that Celestial collection. But these are all a cream finish, so there's no sparkles in any of these. These are going to be priced at eight US dollars a piece, or you can get the set of all six for 45. So let's take a close-up look at these new So Glassy lip gloss colors now. Similar styling here on the packaging for the So Glassy lip glosses that we saw on the matte bronzers. And when it comes to the actual component itself, we are seeing the same shape and size as not only the previous So Glassy glosses, but anything from the Fresh Kiss line. So if you've tried any of those products, then you have a sense for the size of these. Now, these do have a sticker on the bottom. I prefer the sticker of the shade name instead of the shade name being printed on there because this little printing does wear off pretty darn quickly, especially for a well-loved product, which I think these very easy go-to neutral glosses are going to be. These do not seem to be scented at all. To me anyway, I don't detect scent and there's no mention of a scent on the site. Little doe foot pointed applicator here. This is great for precision application which you don't necessarily need for these. These are a very easy breezy type of gloss. Now I wanted to show you an arm swatch of all the shades together here. That way you could sort of compare and contrast the different colors. It's a little bit difficult to do with individual lip swatches in my opinion. So here are all six shades laid out. This range definitely feels like it was aiming for a your lips but better gloss across a wide variety of skin tones and it seems like they really nailed it here. I find actually all of these to be pretty flattering. I don't usually love these lighter milkier glosses but something about these actually works pretty well for me so I am overall impressed. Now, formula-wise, these seem like a pretty straightforward gloss. They remind me a lot of the Ultra Glossy Lip formula, but I believe that all of the So Glassy Lips are going to be vegan, and they also are unscented, so I think that's really a good draw for this particular product. This shade, Newport, and then the next shade that you're going to see called Huntington, those are my two absolute favorites. But like I said, I like all of these. I think they're really nice. This gloss is really comfy. I don't get that sticky lips sticking together sort of feeling that some glosses do give me. There's no tingly plumping. I definitely dislike that in a gloss. And, you know, it's a gloss, so you have to reapply it, but that's just the nature of the beast when you're wearing a glossy lip color. So all in all, no complaints. I don't think that there's anything particularly crazy good about these, but hey, who doesn't love a great neutral gloss? I know I do, so... I'm not mad at it. All in all, I think that this portion of the launch is a really great 
staple item. I really hope that they continue to keep these items in stock, prioritize restocking this type of thing, especially in the summertime. These are going to be really useful go-to products for pretty much everybody. It doesn't really matter what your go-to style is. I think everybody has that staple bronzer that they love, that staple neutral gloss that they love. Maybe not. Probably not. Definitely not every person ever. I know not everybody wears lip gloss. Not everybody loves bronzer. Overall, I think these are great staple products. Are they the most exciting, new, groundbreaking things? No. But I think this is the type of stuff everybody loves, everybody uses. These are definitely a good addition to the ColourPop line. They were severely lacking bronzers, so this is bringing something much needed to the table. I like it. I think everything's nice. I think it's easy, breezy, very summery. It's good. I like this. I'm probably gonna go towards these pieces more than the palette. I think I'll talk about that more in my palette video, but overall this portion of the launch is probably personally my preference. Which is weird for me to say that about a ColourPop palette, but here we are, you know? A lot of things are weird. Me loving green eyeshadow is also weird. Because not that long ago, I wouldn't have loved green eyeshadow, and now it's one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow colors to wear. I wear it all the time. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about these products. Are you interested? Are you going to be checking any of these out? Do you have a complete opposite opinion? You think this is totally a boring snooze fest? You already have these things, you didn't need them. Everybody is allowed to have their own opinions about things. As long as everybody voices their opinions respectfully, which 99% of people here in my videos, in my comments, thank you, thank you. 99% of you are respectful and nice to each other. But yeah, we don't all have to agree. I do, yeah, I could totally see that if you thought this was a little bit boring, a little bit bland, but for me, I think it's a nice addition to the line and I think a lot of people are gonna love it. I wanna hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <clears throat> I got distracted. Okay, pay attention. I think I'm gonna split, sit, I, wow. Okay. It's going great. That's my dog. Ma'am, can you simmer down? Thank you. Come on, camera, don't die. Don't die, camera. We can do this. Huntington. I'm from West Virginia, we'd say, come on down to Huntington, Huntington. That's not how they say it in California, I would venture to guess. How cute is this eyeshadow look with like the little pop of green underneath and it matches my nails and it matches my earrings. Oof, love it, I love it. Yes, there will be a tutorial for this look in the palette video. Ma'am, I had to put a dog bed for her in here because she was just constantly following me to my office. Madam, madam, what are you doing? Okay, thank you. Just, okay, it's nice to see you too. Go check on Jack, where's Jack? She's so cute. Do you guys want a Maggie update? She's doing great. She's such a good girl. Oh, I hear him. Go check on him. See you later. She's going to now. She's going to go check on my son. She's the best dog. It's so good. All right, now they're probably going to start playing together and being loud, so I'll, <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, love your face. Bye.